What's up guys? Um I'm back in our video so we guys today. Um I got the Arteria 61 Kia Perceptual. It just came in the mail and uh today I feel like doing a uh, unboxing and uh, and review so uh guys let's get into the video. So guys here's your Terrier right here 61 keys here's the picture my real uh eight f f uh, pads not faders with uh volume stuff here's the big wheel here's the keys and with the arteria it comes with the ableton lab light the analog lab and modern d so yeah i'm going to unbox get the panel out of this so yeah Let's get into it. Alright, so guys, open it up. So it's not that heavy. Here it is right here. Um, it's not that heavy. Uh 61 keys right here, so let me switch into the other camera so um I can see it better. Um, of course we have the, um, white stuff here, so I'm going to take it out. Yeah. Or, so they have all this for safety. Now let me take this out. This is um, really nice here. Um, yeah. With all these. And I know my uh, my studio is a little mess right now, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. For this, this is um really nice. The faders, knobs, yeah. The keys is really nice too. Yeah, and yeah, the um. Uh, yeah, the um, eight faders. Um, yeah, we yeah, have the analog that button doll. There's a one, there's a two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, guys, um, I have analog that view right now, loaded up right now. So, yeah, um, I'll record on my I was gonna record on my laptop but um some came up with my software um uh, OBS so yeah uh so now we have the cool keys right here and the laptop so now the first thing I want you to know to do is uh it's gonna use that uh Android that by itself by itself I'm gonna press um uh, match select analog that so you want to have the preset you can go through categories here's the uh, part one part two and then i can also control sounds if you can see it there's the stuff right here but right now i'm in a playlist right now i will show you how to make a playlist and for the first one i renamed it to flunky I don't know why, that's when to do it. So, uh, yeah. And then let me uh, show you one of the more of my favorite sounds from it. It's, um, look it up. Yeah, yeah, I was in dog mood. Uh, This is a song from 
DX7. What up? Yeah. Ain't more dark than my business. Let's bring this up a little bit. Uh. So now you had the uh, octave, both the octave buttons down and up. So if I want to go up to the higher octave, I can still have the same octave and then press this button right here, it goes to a higher octave. Let's go to a um, lower octave. Okay. And right now, yeah, here's some um, sounds that I like here. And then, um, let me explore. It goes through categories. Categories, you can press the button. You can use the um, big knob so you can switch it down. Uh, let me see. You can go to modular. Metallic sequence. Let's go to some play templates. Let's go to 
movement and just a little delay uh, no this will do movement down favorite sound that I forgot the original name for it so So I'm going to show you how to rename them. So if you want to rename them, just double click and just rename it. I would just call it like, um, let's say mood. And yeah, this changes and it also saves. <laughs> then if you also want to uh, you know say if you want to uh add some two players you can add a players new players uh let's say uh let's say that's what my e uh, band name e -P -P one. let's save that and then it comes down here. And then just select it and put it in probably uh forget what yet. I don't know how long it's going on now. And then put it in another folder now because it's not working. Please do not working so uh it should work for yours. Uh, I think something going on. Um uh, let's go to like synth choir. Uh, let's see if I'm like to play like a choir. This is I think this is one of my most favorite choir. Yeah. <laughs> For this chord button, if you're not to use it, just press down 
say if I want like a uh, F uh, major seven. Look, and if uh, for the trans right here, it just being transposed. So say if um the intro sounds real quick. Um, let me use um. Uh, let's say use a chorus. Say if I'm in A flat. The way you want to use it is if you can, if you want, so if you press E flat, so if you hold the button down, press E flat, E flat will come to C. It says semi plus E. So F, so all the keys you see here say F major, F sharp, or C, right? I just now use the transpose button. It will go down eight half steps. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not at B flat. Right? If I'm correct. Yeah. Say if I want C sharp. So on C. Everything just drops by in half steps. So C will be on B, B on B. B flat will be on A, A will be on uh, E flat. Yes. And this, I really like this one, so yeah. And of course, we have the pitch of mod wheel here. Uh, yeah, and then you have all the controls. You can control all of these. And then for the live bank, here's part one. If you want to use part one. So part one is mostly for uh multi. So let's go to multi real quick. Uh, so let's say multi real quick. Uh, both. Let's say part one. I can show that. Part two. Right here. And then live you can just. sounds to like the red orange yellow blue like I did here you can and this is something that I really like too all right so now let's go into Ableton now and from that, you're gonna to have to use map. You're gonna be on map on um, select. You're gonna be going to DAW. Okay. So once that's off, you can you, you see you can um, you have all these colors right here. You can um, play with or yeah. So now I'm on DAW mode. I'm now on. Um, see now I'm on DAW mode. I I can control everything. Sounds. Uh, you see all of this I can control. Uh, let me put these down. Wait, let me turn these on real quick. So I have to turn them off before I start using this on uh, the analog thing. 
So, the Grand Piano I'm using now is from the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! workstation. Uh, it comes with the Arturia, so uh, if you want to get it, you can get it yourself. So, I just wanted to use it because I don't really like the Grand's that came, that's like with Ableton like itself. Or, I mean, if I want to use it at one point, yeah. And then, add it on the voice-like pad right here. I really like the pad. Yeah, so I really like the pad, so yeah. And so with Ableton Live Lite, um, and you can only use eight, eight spots. Uh, let me cut this out. Uh, you can only have eight sounds. E sounds or eight audios or half half, I don't know. But seven. You see how eight, eight, here's eight right here. If I want to like add something or if I want to ask me, it says number of tracks is limited to eight in this version of thought. So you can't really add nothing no more. And say if I'm like playing at a service or something, right? All right, let me take the audios out so I'm not gonna use them for the video. Say if I'm using like three extra sounds, right? Uh, let's say if I want, I can set the strings from Ableton. Go to the strings, and one of my favorite strings is uh, from, it's a synthetic choir strings. So now it's four, say I want to use trans pose and say if I want to go on E flat so for me for my few sets I usually have a type of grand piano, add like a type of DX sound or like a modern or like a uh, E piano type sound, so, something that sounds good with for the Ableton and uh, I usually have a sound like say, uh, let's say like Suburban Keys. This is something I really like from Ableton. Uh, let's say Suburban Keys and then uh, for, and let me see here, for, like, for Logic, for my third sound, if I'm using Ableton, I would just use against uh, the uh, the Xiphone keys or uh, the uh, Chaminero bells, one of them. So say if I have, um, also use these on uh, pads to you know record say if I want to record I right, then put all these down real quick oh, man. all right so say if I want to record like live loop <laughs> Play. I know it sounds terrible. Now I need like a small low pad. And just like that, you can. Um, 
episode was bad, and uh, I'm still trying to, and I'm still trying to figure, uh, configure everything out on the input so it can sound good and stuff. So, uh, yeah. For me, I usually have, especially like in the Haitian church, you know, for like the Sunday morning and stuff, right? I usually have these sounds. I usually have a pad and a set of strings, right? And for Ableton, I usually have like voice like pad or so, um, or the um, synthetic crier, or if I want to use something from um, Able uh, Analog Lab, yeah. And Logic, I I use it like every other time thing. I use like warm synth pad or uh, classic pad with a uh, string assemble. And then for my, um, so that's a total of five sounds right there. The six sounds, if I want to use like a chance type of sound, like chance, I'll figure it down in Ableton or some type of chance from Logic or, um, let me see here, uh, or something like, um, say like, for logic, dream voice from morning meditation, something like sound that um, makes everything like, you know, stand out and stuff. And then for my last two sounds, seven and eight, mostly I have like the synth sound, synth sounds like a lead or something like that, the flute or something like that. And yeah. And you can also, you know, use drums for these pads right here. Um, yeah. And then, you know, you have eight feeders, knobs, everything here. And then for these two right here, two parts, uh, left and uh, right, can you go uh, can go all the way to right or all the way to left, you know. Yeah, and then for the knob, you can just go down and up, or if you want, or if you want this part, you can just go all the way back or all the way front. Whichever one. Yeah. And then, yeah. Then we had the trans mod. So now I'm going to uh, put a video. So now I'm going to uh, make a clip. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to make a clip on uh, me, you know, having fun with the Alteria with some sounds from Analog Lab P. Um, you know. And uh, if you see a couple of my videos on Instagram, uh, uh, you see me uh, having fun with this against on Instagram, or I did post a couple of videos on TikTok. You probably can see like one of them right now. So yeah, so yeah. And for overall, you know, I really like the Alteria. It's, uh, it's barely, you know, or to you know this. It's like easy. Um, it, it barely is weighs. It barely weighs anything. And then I have my sin here. I won't post a video on uh, everything I need for my gigs. So yeah. So guys, um, uh, that's it for now. Um, uh, more things about uh, able to know or um, uh, uh, analog that V. Or the UVI workstation. Um, all right. Before I, I close out, let me show you the uh, UVI workstation. Let me turn everything off. All right. UVI workstation. So right now I don't have anything like you know. Everything. So if you want to get everything, yeah. With um. If you have a workstation, it comes with its own thing. If you want any sounds from it, you can get any sounds. Cost some money. And I got some sounds like, like Basic Dry, um, Basic Hall, and plus, um, make sure you follow the uh, instructions from the um, thing, from paper. You need the um, License Manager app to, you know, activate it, you need the workstation app, you need um, the other thing for um, the workstation so you can uh, access this. And if you want to access any other sounds like purchase or have like a trial and uh, use some sounds, yeah.
hear if you have a sound right and talking about any sound you have can I also use multi and combine two or three sounds together and then it's like say it's like right here right um uh, here's where you have everything you have your game you have your uh your dry and wet uh crossover based on decay everything your mod pitch everything right here yeah so that's it guys um this is really easy you know and um uh, once you get you know along with it a little bit but after that couple of days you know or at least like a day or a few hours if you can get you know get it uh quick you'll be able to you know have fun and so far i'm working on a project right now i'm using logic in ableton especially with ella uh ella that v i have a couple of sounds from it and so far it's going really great and yeah make sure you stay tuned for that project too and so for this is fun, you know, this real fun. So if you uh, need more assistance or anything like that, you can hit me up, you know, yeah. And um, I was, I'll put it down in the link if you want Ableton Live Live, UVI Workstation, LLV. And I'm gonna put where I got the arterial from and with the stem down below or if I forget some, just let me know. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, see y'all later. All right. Peace.